The most dangerous myth for consumers in debt. Brought to you by yourlegallegup.com, your advantage if you are being sued by debt collectors. Con consumers who owe money, debtors, often believe a lot of myths that are bad for them. You can be desperate and look for the easiest, fastest way out of trouble. That makes sense. Because if you're being sued, you do need immediate action. But you must be on guard for myths that will hurt you by luring you into the wrong action or no action. There's a lot of people out there who want you to lose a trillion dollar industry built on taking your money. And there are scam artists or just ignorant people out there with their own goals who are happy to see you spin your wheels and sink in the mud. But there is one idea that is key to all their grift, the worst myth. And the worst myth being played to, to people being sued is the idea that somehow someone else will take care of you. It shows up in many ways and is always bad news. It isn't necessarily fault if you have believed this destructive myth. There are a lot of people peddling it. But your chances to beat the debt collectors and protect your money depend on your taking charge. And that means looking to yourself for answers, not within yourself. This isn't some, you know, Jedi, uh, this is your father, Luke, sort of thing. This is you look to yourself for the effort and work to get yourself out of trouble. Let's look at some of the biggest examples of the myth that someone else will look, take care of you because you need to be on your guard. We'll start with an oddly common one. People think debt collectors will be fair or honest. You're like, no, everybody knows debt collectors are heartless and dishonest whenever they want to be, which is often. <laughs> Very true. And yet so many people tell me that they have offered information or money to the debt collectors or asked them to give them a break in some way and believed them when they said they would. That shows trust. They say they don't trust them, but then they depend on them to make a fair or helpful offer. And when they're talking about to them about how much money they may owe, they believe the debt collector instead of demanding proof of the exact amount and that they owe it. Happens all the time. The debt collectors know all of that and you can't trust a word they say. You must take care of yourself and with debt collectors, that means checking every fact they claim and making them write down every promise that they make. Anything short of those things is trusting someone you don't know who doesn't care about you and has strong financial incentive to rip you off to do the right thing. That's naive and foolish and it happens all the time because it's easier, right? People think the lawyers will be fair. It's fashionable to say bad things about lawyers and everybody knows in the abstract not to trust them. We've probably heard the joke. How can you tell if the lawyer's lying? His lips are moving. <laughs> But there are two major forces going against you in a debt case. First, lawyers are not all untrustworthy, and most of them don't sound like they are. Most of them actually do follow the rules. They ha there is a sense of integrity about most of them. They are, after all, trained to make people trust them. The second reason is more insidious. It's power. Lawyers in debt cases have the power to make your life very difficult. They can embarrass you, put you to stress and expense, and they represent large, rich companies while you are a financially stressed individual. Faced with such a difficult, difficult situation, it's easy to hope for the best, right? And if you can hope it, you can believe it. You must not. It's their job to crush you if possible. Trusting or hoping they'll do anything else will be a disaster. Most people trust the courts. Sure, they know that a lot of judges are bozos and black clowns, <laughs> and a lot of them aren't, you understand. And they know that most judges come from the plaintiff's side of the bar. They know the legal system is skewed in favor of the rich, even as the laws are skewed in favor of the rich. You know that, right? They know theoretically that trusting judges or the law in the abstract to take care of them is a big mistake. And yet, you would not believe how many people tell me the judge will or should look after them in some way. People used to tell me that they wouldn't go to court because they didn't know the money. That's trusting the court to take care of them. Know this, it is not the court's job to take care of you. They give only the briefest look, if any at all, 
at the outcomes of debt cases. They don't have time, they don't care, and they aren't even supposed to care. You gotta understand, these judges, a lot of them, if you go to, if you go to court, you'll see, they may have 500 cases to dispose of in an hour, and they don't do that by looking after any individual, right? The legal system is designed as an adversary system, and that means people fight against each other, really. Um, you know, according to rules and, and stuff, but they fight against each other and the judges will let you choose your strategies and make your own mistakes. That's what they do. They are not required uh, to force the debt collectors to put on admissible evidence. If they did, most debt collectors would never win their cases. Instead, it's up to you to object to evidence you don't like and make the court keep it up. If you don't do that, the court lets it in. In daily life, people look out for each other quite a bit. In legal life, never. Depending on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> what can I say about this other than don't? You know that there are lots of people out there who have their own interests in mind. They have a, a list of priorities and you aren't high on it. You know that. They're not high on yours either, right? That's life. Representing yourself pro se means bu building and depending on your own judgment. It requires carefully weighing facts and motivations and coming to your own conclusions. It means figuring out the facts and how to get them. When debt collectors sue you for debt, you have a very good chance to win, but it's up to you to make that happen. Our materials and memberships exist to help you know what you need to do and to help you do it. We want to help you learn how to defend yourself and once you learn that, it changes your whole view of the world. Helping people protect their rights is what we do. Protect what's yours and don't let the debt collectors rip you off. Your legal leg up. Dot com.